pastor is the one that actually taught me this. Every time you get a word from God, God gives you a prophecy or a word, write that word down. Amen. Put the date, and if you can put the time, write it down because it will come to pass. And time and time again, when my faith seems to go in the dip, we all have those moments. I open up this book and I read through all the words that God has given me. And I see how all of it comes to pass, has come to pass. There is some words in here that through my sessions with Pastor, God speaks to the church where he said things for you backward ministers. There's so many. I think I sent Pastor one yesterday and he said, share it. And I was going through the book and I'm like, half of this book is in backward ministries. <laughs> but I'm going to be brief. I'm going to read you one that I sent to Pastor that God gave last year. And it was on the 8th of March last year. God said that this church is putting under a canopy of His blessing. The wing He's, he's putting wings in the spirit, in wings of miracles, increase in the word. Yes. And we have seen it in this church. He said, God said that it is a young church, but it will grow in the word. Amen. People will be hungry for the word yes. in this church. Yes. Yes. That has come to pass. Amen. Many will come to this house for miracles, for the word, it will be powerful here. Yes. Increase in the hunger for the word of God. Whoever practices this will be blessed. Amen. God says, honor my word and the son that I've sent, the man that I've sent, and they will see my presence in their bank accounts. She's just a bit distant. Yeah. In their houses, on their phones, in their jobs. This was one of the things God said. The other one, I'm going to be brief, was on the 7th of July last year. He said, and He's setting us free from the oppression of the devil. Many people will come to this church, says God. Many will come hungry. They will be healed. They will come with problems. They will drop in this church. Yes, this is my church, says the Lord. I'm giving it a voice. And this is the church I will speak through. This church, I will cause my word to be spread. Yes, many already are thirsty to come into this body. I will fill it up, says God. Up to the brim, up to the brim. My spirit is hovering over Amber, over Windsor East and West. Everywhere, people will come from afar because I'm causing your pastor, says the Lord. He's going to function in the grace of the word. Amen. We are seeing it. There's many days after we sit after, after church, we're driving home and, and we're dropping pastor. And I would say, Yo, pastor, you want another little now? <laughs> because this is what God has spoken over this church. Amen. Now God gives you a word. Pastor has so told me. Whatever word God has given you, you pray over that word. Because that's why you're saying, Lord, I accept what you're telling me. I'm accepting this word. Work. God's word says the following in Isaiah 45 verse 11. It says, So shall my word be that goes from my mouth, says God. It will not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what, what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. So God has given you a word. I know everybody, a majority of you sitting here, God gave you a word. He gave it to you in a dream. He gave it to you through Pastor Stan and through other people. God has told you things, things that he wants you to do. Don't lose heart. Hold on to that word. It might seem like it's steady, but it's already in motion. It's already taking place. Amen? Amen. 
So I want to encourage each and every one of you. Go and get your book. Go and record those things that God has spoken. And then when God does it, you go and you tick it off and you say, thank you, Lord. Because it's through that action that God gives you more. God gives you more. Like, like we've always been taught in this church, get into the Word. Get into the Word, you will see it come to pass. Amen. And those, those things that God is doing in your life, those miracles, those miracles, those healings, those prophecies that God giving you that's coming to pass, is a witness to those people around you. Amen. Many times you don't have to say much. Amen. You don't have to preach them the whole Bible. They just see how your life has changed. Amen. So remain open, remain expectant as a church. Because God is about to do mighty things. Like Pastor said, we're going to get testimonies in this place. There's testimonies coming. God has spoken it. God said miracles will be like popcorn. That was another one. Yeah. Yeah. Miracles will happen in this place like popcorn. There's many people that receive visitors that come in. And instantly they are healed. Instantly they situate. They feel better. After just sitting in the service. Without Pastor physically having to pray for them. This is the this is the grace that we sit under. This is the anointing that you and I are sitting under. Let us not become familiar. Let us not get comfortable with it. Because when you do that, you cut off what God can do. You cut off God's sending more. Let us not another thing is let us not become indifferent to one another. Because God cannot command a blessing in a place with this division. We need to stay close because God has brought us together. Amen. We are like a family. Like they say in the world, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Amen. God chooses them. Amen. So God bring them into this place. They become part of you. You pray for your sister. You pray for your brother. When there's something that, that, that doesn't sit right, speak to them. Because God, when you don't do that, you're blocking God from speaking to you. You're stopping God from doing those miracles. Those things that He's promised you. You're stopping that from taking place. You're stopping the flow of that grace that's on Pastor to come towards you. When you do that. So let us remain humble. Let us remain honoring the man that God has placed in His house. Let us show Him respect and let us Acknowledge that grace that's on his life. And treat him also with respect. Because it's as if Jesus is sitting in his presence. It's as if Jesus is amongst us. So he sends a man of God. The word says he sends a man. Amen. He will send you a preacher and he'll send you a man. Amen. He sends us his prophet. Yes. Let us value what we have in this house. Yes. Amen. Because I know many of us will not be here today. Some of us will not have been alive if we not come in contact with Pastor Stan. Have we not made connection with this church? We have not been here. Our lives would have been somewhere else and some of us would be six feet under. So let us acknowledge the gift that we have in our presence. Just like we acknowledge God, let us acknowledge our pastor. Let us also show him one. Let us also Show him appreciation by doing things for him. By giving him things. Because the word says you must do that. It's not me saying the word says it. We need to honor a man of God that God has sent. Because it's through honoring him that those graces, those blessings that God has for you flows towards you. Amen. 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 I thank you.